Have you ever wondered how rocket scientists think and solve problems? Well, you're about to get a glimpse into their world. Today we're exploring the book, Think Like a Rocket Scientist, Simple Strategies You Can Use to Make Giant Leaps in Work and Life, by Ozan Varel. This fascinating read offers a treasure trove of strategies derived from rocket science, tailored for application in our daily lives and work. Intriguing, right? Now let's dive into the 10 lessons from the book. The first lesson from the book is to reframe problems. Just like a rocket scientist, we can tackle challenges more effectively by shifting our perspective and questioning our assumptions. Think of a problem you're currently facing. Could you view it from a different angle? Could you challenge the assumptions that are holding you back? The second lesson is all about embracing uncertainty. In the realm of rocket science, there are no clear guidelines when navigating complex and unfamiliar problems. Similarly, in life and work, those who can adapt and find creative solutions amidst uncertainty gain a distinct advantage. The third lesson comes straight from the launch pad, applying rocket science strategies to your everyday life. Verrill introduces nine simple strategies from the world of rocket science that can help us make giant leaps in our careers, businesses, learning, and personal growth. Imagine using the same strategies that put a man on the moon to navigate your life. These are the first three lessons. Now let's move on to the next ones. The fourth lesson from the book is to think big. Verrill encourages us to set audacious goals and embrace a mindset of endless possibilities. He inspires us to reach for the stars, both figuratively and literally. Let's shift our perspective from what is to what could be and you'll be amazed at the extraordinary results we can achieve. Next, we delve into the importance of interdisciplinary thinking. Drawing from his own experiences in rocket science and law, Varel illustrates how combining insights from diverse fields can lead to breakthrough ideas. It's like creating a mental mosaic where each piece enriches the whole. Finally, we explore the value of seeking inspiration from failure. Varel asserts that setbacks aren't roadblocks, but rather stepping stones to growth. Remember, even rockets don't reach the stars without a few failed launches. These are lessons four to six. Now, let's move on to the final lessons. The seventh lesson from the book is to cultivate creativity. Ozan Varel encourages us to foster creativity as a crucial tool for innovation and problem solving. He provides practical techniques to enhance our creative thinking like brainstorming sessions and encourages us to generate fresh ideas by shifting our perspectives. Moving on to the eighth lesson, it's about embracing calculated risks. Varel advises us to step out of our comfort zones, to take strategic risks that can propel us forward. It's all about balancing potential rewards against possible setbacks. The ninth lesson underscores the power of collaboration. Varel attests that working together towards common goals, leveraging diverse perspectives, can lead to robust and innovative solutions. Finally, the tenth lesson promotes a mindset of continual learning and growth. Varel invites us to embrace curiosity, seek out new knowledge, and adapt to changing circumstances. These are the final lessons from the book. We've covered a lot in this short time, from reframing problems and embracing uncertainty, to thinking big and valuing interdisciplinary thinking. We've learned to find inspiration in failure, cultivate creativity, take calculated risks, and leverage the power of collaboration. Above all, we've realized the significance of continual learning and growth. These lessons from rocket science are not just strategies. They're a mindset, a way to look at the world, for a deeper understanding, I encourage you to read the book. Remember, thinking like a rocket scientist can lead to giant leaps in your work and life.